Hi, welcome to Windpay Audiobook Novels. Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God. Author, Tian Yun Lao Mao, Lucky Old Cat. Please support the author by reading and buying an original source in description below. Enjoy. Chapter 30, Crimson Blade. Cola had long since been ready for this moment. The instant Shi Feng let out the command, his mouth began chanting divine texts. Streaks of gold and divine texts rushed at Shi Feng. Protection Blessing Suddenly, Shi Feng was surrounded by countless golden divine texts, giving off a dazzling golden glow. At the same time, Drowsy Sloth, at the rear of the line, continuously cast Recover and Life Prayer, pulling Shi Feng's health point back up to full and returning him to his best condition. Prepare for a battering attack. Absolutely do not leave from my back. Seeing werewolf felt line of sight shifting towards them, Shi Feng held the abyssal blade across his chest as he commanded. Hearing Shi Feng's words, everyone started to tense up. Their hearts were not courageous, to begin with. Now, their hearts started to madly beat. They were being covered in a cold sweat even before Werewolf Felt used its skill. Suddenly, Werewolf Felt moved. Its expanded chest started moving upwards, moving past its throat and to its mouth. Who? Within an instant, everyone aside from Shi Feng felt their hearts stop beating. It was as if the world had turned grey and silent. The soaring birds in the sky had also turned motionless. Everyone could clearly see the multitude of grey-coloured waves being emitted from werewolf felt's body. Streak after streak, it continuously expanded. The dark grey ripples quickly arrived in front of everyone. However, they could not move even a muscle. It was not because they did not wish to move, but because their bodies could not keep up with the speed of their thoughts. Everyone could feel that time was moving by at an exceptionally slow pace. However, everyone understood that although the movement of time appeared slow, in reality, it was moving at the pinnacle of speed. Just like absolute experts crossing swords, the moment the exchange happened, time would move exceptionally slowly, at this moment, only Shi Feng slightly moved. Phantom Kill The instant the dark grey ripples arrived in front of Shi Feng, his doppelganger had blocked in front of him. At the same time, the doppelganger used parry. Subsequently, the grey ripples made contact with the doppelganger. However, they were blocked by the doppelganger's parry, whereas the doppelganger himself retreated a step back. He only stabilized his body after colliding with Shi Feng. Just after the doppelganger stabilized himself, another wave of ripples came smashing. The ripples passed through the doppelganger's body this time, causing his health point to instantly decrease by 300 points. Behind him, Shi Feng had also received minus 30 damage, while the others behind Shi Feng received minus 20 damage. However, the ripples did not stop with just one wave. When the third wave of ripples passed through the doppelganger, his body had instantly disintegrated. A damage of minus 100 points also appeared above Shi Feng's head. Subsequently, Wave after wave of dark grey ripples followed. 100, minus 100, minus 100, minus 100. Shi Feng's health point fell time and time again until only 90 points remained. When the final wave of ripples was about to get rid of Shi Feng, he used parry. Hong. Shi Feng retreated a big step backward. However, he did not receive any damage. The people behind him were also unharmed. However, 
their health point after going through several waves of attacks did not exceed 50%. Dot at this moment, drowsy sloths recover had only landed on Shi Feng's body, pulling Shi Feng's health point back to 140. Following which he used life payment, recovering 130 health point for Shi Feng. Within a moment, Shi Feng's health point had returned to over 50%. This roar really is powerful. I even thought we were finished, Blackie wiped off the cold sweat from his forehead. If Shi Feng had not blocked in front of them, they would all be goners by now. When he thought back to how Shi Feng nearly died, Blackie's heart started beating rapidly, reaching 180 beats per minute. If Shi Feng died, then they would die as well, there was nobody else in the party who could pin down werewolf felt for a long period of time. At this moment, everyone looked at Shi Feng as if they were looking at a monster. Never would they have imagined that Shi Feng would ingeniously use his doppelganger to block two of those onslaughts. He had also used parry on the final attack. The way Shi Feng had calculated both damage and health point was absolutely brilliant. Such a technique definitely belonged to the realm of gods. Stop daydreaming, all of you. Quickly attack the boss, it's in a weakened state right now. Shi Feng only shrugged his shoulders at his party's reaction. Such a technique could be done by many experts in a few more years. However, Shi Feng had yet to relax. The thing he had to pay attention to the most right now was the boss. Only he knew how hard it was to deal with werewolf felt. Windblade. With gravity liberation activated, Shi Feng instantly arrived in front of felt. He tightly gripped the abyssal blade, continuously sending attacks towards felt's chest. Thundering flash. Double chop. Chop. Damage that exceeded minus 100 appeared above Werewolf Felt's head, one after another. The other party members were also able to deal damage of over minus 20 with each attack. Very quickly, they had reduced Werewolf Felt's health point down to 15%. When they saw that Felt was about to die, Everyone revealed smiles of excitement. Don't be careless. Blackie, use your evil whip. Lonely Snow, prepare to interrupt with charge. Shi Feng commanded as he dodged Werewolf Felt's attack. Being told what to do in such a way, everyone's hearts suddenly constricted. A death stare and a hell's roar was already unimaginably terrifying. If it was any other party here, they would have long since revived back at the graveyard. Could Werewolf Felt actually have another powerful skill? How horrifying was this hell mode? Shi Feng constantly paid attention to Werewolf Felt's health point. Just when Felt's health point fell down to 10%, its third big move finally came. Death Berserk. This move would increase Werewolf Felt's attack speed by 100%, its movement speed by 40%, and its attack power by 100% until it died. It was precisely this move that had caused countless elite parties to curse out in madness. After activating Death Berserk, Werewolf Felt first started turning red, in a moment, it had become blood red in color. Adding in its crimson red eyes and sharp fangs, felt looked remarkably like a blood fiend. Its terrifying appearance had caused everyone to inadvertently retreat a step backward. They could clearly feel the air of danger given off by felt. Shi Feng used another double chop, stacking the bleeding effect to five layers. Afterward, he spun around and ran dot after activating Death Berserk there was no one under level 5 who was able to block felt. That included Shi Feng, even if he had a magic weapon. 
The only method was to kite one, it and slowly grinding felt to death. The moment Shi Feng had escaped the ten yard distance, felt thick thighs suddenly doubled in size. One of its legs abruptly stomped the ground, sending it flying like an arrow, rushing towards Shi Feng. Shi Feng was about to arrive at the location of the large rock, but behind him, felt speed was just too fast. He definitely could not make it. Shi Feng abruptly made a 90 degrees sharp turn. Without making any turns, Werewolf felt smashed straight into the large rock blocking its path, turning it into rubble. Fragmented rocks the size of a person's head were sent flying more than 10 yards away. Seeing such horrifying strength, even a fierce man such as Kola had his heart trembling. If he were struck by those claws, then he would definitely become meat paste. At this moment, Shi Feng had already distanced himself over 20 yards from Felt. Meanwhile, the attacks from the mages never stopped. They continuously ground away Felt's health point. Shi Feng's plan to kite Felt was a success. Every time Werewolf Felt was about to catch up, Lonely Snow would charge at it. He then followed it up with a bone crusher, greatly reducing Felt's speed. Afterward, he pulled away from Felt once more. When Lonely Snow's skills were on cooldown, Blackie would use Evil Whip to constrict Felt once more. The skills of the two of them had a quick cooldown. With Shi Feng's occasional abyssal bind, they had formed a perfect cycle to toy with Werewolf Felt without pause. 7% 6% 5% 3% Finally, when Felt only had 1% health point remaining, Shi Feng abruptly turned around. Wind Blade Thundering Flash Chop Double Chop Shi Feng's single sword slashed at Werewolf Felt's chest, taking away its final 1% health point. System, your party is the first to clear a hell mode dungeon. Rewards increased by 100%, loot increased by 100%. System, cleared hell mode of deathly forest. Rewarding 8000 experience. At this moment, Werewolf felt exploded, dropping out over 10 items. And amongst them, there was one that made Shi Feng's eyes shine. Crimson Blade. It was a sword that had the color of fresh blood. It gave off a dull red glow, and there was also faint drops of red liquid dripping off the edges of the blade. The entire sword revealed a dense killing aura. Shi Feng never imagined that the item with an abysmal drop rate would actually appear in front of him. Notes 1. Kite a term in video gaming and elsewhere to describe when a ranged fighter skirmishes with a hand-to-hand -hand fighter by running and shooting. This can have two purposes, a, to damage the enemy while staying outside of hand-to-hand -hand range, or b, to make the enemy follow you so you can lead them to a specific location. Thanks for listening, if you like the video please press like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to support the original author so we can enjoy more of their books. See you in the next video, love and peace, Windpay.